want to grow at home easily in this series in this video we are going to see an interesting plant that is hotjar in hindi pirandai in tamil and botanically it is known as thysus quadrangularis this is one of the interesting plant it is having a lot of benefits it is a perennial plant and it belongs to the grape family it is commonly known as wild grape devil's backbone adamant creeper astiff haraka hotjar and pirandai it's a plant that is very rich in vitamin c and lot of antioxidants it has been used to treat an array of health conditions so this is an interesting plant and one can cultivate this plant very easily it can grow any type of conditions that's one of the biggest advantage it looks like succulent plants the leaves are very small it looks like a climber plant so this is an interesting plant and one can cultivate this plant very easily it can grow any type of conditions that's one of the biggest advantage it looks like a succulent plants the leaves are very small it looks like a climber plant so this is an interesting plant and one can cultivate this plant very easily it can grow any type of conditions that's one of the biggest advantage it looks like a succulent plants the leaves are very small it looks like a climber plant so this is an interesting plant and one can cultivate this plant very easily it can grow any type of conditions that's one of the biggest advantage so you can buy this plant from any nursery so once you receive the plant you just to follow two simple conditions one is just keep the plant in the indirect bright sunlight number 2 is do not repot this for at least one to two weeks the reason is that you have to allow the plant to acclimatize in your new ecosystem after this adaptation or acclimatization you just water properly and make sure that it is consistently moist once the adaptation is over dig a hole somewhat shallow here then the length of the root ball so just to follow the simple conditions so the, as we say this can grow in any conditions so place the plant in the hole and replace the soil champing firmly as you go sufficient water is required and the water thoroughly after planting then whenever the water is required then uh, you just sprinkle the water and make sure that it's consistently moist in general it will take 1 to 2 weeks to see the growth within 3 months you can able to see full bloom plant so to start with this plant looks like a small herb but if we allow its growth it will just grow as a climber so put the stick and it will climb with the stick so to start with this plant looks like a small herb but if we allow its growth it will just uh, grow as a climber so put the stick and it will climb with the stick so to start with this plant looks like a small herb but if we allow its growth it will just uh, grow as a climber 
So put your stick and it will climb with the stick. So to start with this plant looks like a small herb but if we allow its growth it will just uh, grow as a climber. So put your stick and it will climb with the stick. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. The stem is very strong and uh, succulent nature. The leaves are very small. It also having trendles like structures by which it can able to climb. So you can see the root system also which is very short roots so by which it can able to draw its nutrients as well as water the stem is very strong and uh, succulent nature the leaves are very small it also having trendles like structures by which it can able to climb so you can see the root system also which is very short roots so by which it can able to draw its nutrients as well as water the stem is very strong and uh, succulent nature the leaves are very small it also having trendles like structures by which it can able to climb so you can see the root system also which is very short roots so by which it can able to draw its nutrients as well as water the stem is very strong and uh, succulent nature the leaves are very small it also having trendles like structures by which it can able to climb the plant is having many useful aspects it is actually used in Siddha and Ayurveda mostly for hemorrhoids, obesity, allergies, asthma, high cholesterol, diabetes, gout disease and for bone loss. So there are many products from this plant. So you can buy this as a live plant or you can get this for making food items as fresh plant. Even dried plants are also getting and the scissors powder also available in the market. So in summary, this orchard plant is very interesting plant. It's a medicinal plant. It is highly useful for many ailments. You can get many products from this plant, a slime plant or dried plant or even you can get powder also. So it also gives Sweetness to your product. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. We will see you in the next video with a new plaque. Thank you. Bye bye.